Hello, welcome to the card combination video for the snake card, number seven in the Lenormand fortune telling cards. This is an instructional video. If you've watched any of my other videos, you already know this information, but I'll say it anyway, just because it doesn't take much time. I'm a student of Lenormand. I'm using um, my sharing of what I'm learning to um, help myself, educate myself on these cards. And in the process, maybe I'll help somebody along the way. So that's my, that's my intention. My intention is selfish in that I want to learn these cards on my own, but it's not selfish because I would love to help you in the process. I'm just checking because I'm checking my cards because um, in my last video, I noticed there was a lot of glare. So I'm hoping by moving these down just a little bit that you guys won't just see a glare on the cards because that's annoying. I know it is. Okay. Don't think I mentioned this in my last cloud video, but um, the cloud card. I'm using Under the Roses Lenormand deck for my for my pairings. If you're wondering which which one this is, there it is right there. It's a nice deck. I like it. Um, for my information, I am referencing the art. Let's make sure this is in the camera. The Art of Lenormand Reading Decoding Powerful Messages by Alexander Alexander Musrick. This is an excellent resource book if you're looking for something. This one cost me about $14 or $15 on Amazon. Um, it's exactly what I was looking for. It's got all of the information I, I needed and a lot more. So since I've already done a video on that book, I won't talk a lot about, about the book. You can go check out the video. I did do a review on it. Check it out if you're interested. I am going to uh, carry on with what this video is supposed to be, and that is um, discussing the snake card and its meanings, its pairings with every other card in our deck. So let's get started. Um, the first thing I'm going to share with you is what this book has to say about, I don't want to get, I don't want to burn it, I'm trying to get not too close to the candle, um, about the snake card. It covers a lot, so let me briefly go over that with you. Um, so we can become very familiar with the snake and then we can start adding to it. Okay, so when you see this card, the uh, message is pay attention to the people around you. The thing that immediately comes to my mind when I see this card is I think about um, an untrustworthy individual possibly in my life. That's what I see when I see this card. Um, the explanation underneath the card says the snake is a card indicating danger. It indicates people or situations that are potentially harmful. Be careful who you trust. Yep. Be careful who you trust. She looks a little suspicious. Or maybe she just looks exotic. But it could be either way, right? Okay. So if this is describing a person, this is an experienced, cunning woman. Not someone to mess with. Um, she could be the other woman or the third party. If this is a, if this occurs in a health reading, the uh, in the body references a large intestine, and that will be easy for us to remember because the snake will kind of look like the human intestine, right? If you are using this card in a timing reading, when something is going to happen, you've got the number seven up there to remember this. This represents seven days, seven weeks, so a fairly short amount of time. This is a negative influence card. That's pretty obvious. Uh, the nuance is portrait, because there's a person on there. The uh, the archangel is Michael, and the planet is the moon. The zodiac sign is Cancer. Those, those are all things I haven't really explored much, but I'm happy that they're included in this book, because it is something that I think is important to know those associations. So archangel Michael, moon planet, and Cancer is the zodiac sign. If this comes up in a reading, in a love reading for someone who is single, um, you will date a seductive, dangerous woman, a predator. Ooh, be careful, huh? If this comes up in a love reading where someone's in a relationship already, um, it, it says try something different, break the routine. In a health reading, pay attention. You may have con contracted a virus or a hidden disease. Um, if it's a money reading, money slips through your fingers. Don't lend money to anyone. For a work card, dangerous coworker, one who would betray you without hesitation. And then this card has a special power like all the cards do in this book, which I really enjoy. The special power for the snake card, the card that 
The card that the head of the snake points to is the one that describes the betrayal and danger. The snake has the power to compel people and make them his puppet. Interesting. Okay, so if you had a reading, let's just lay these cards out here just like this for an example. So if you had a reading like this and the snake is looking at the ship card, see how on, the, on this card, let me see, let me make sure you can see that. See on this card, the snake is looking in this direction. She's kind of looking at the snake too. So in this, in this reading, these cards are all in order. I'm just using this as an example. The special power for the snake card, it's pointing to the ship. So it says the snake points to the one that describes the betrayal or danger. So this could describe a danger on a trip. That's important to know. I think that's a, that's a nice little bit of information there. I like that. Appreciate that in a reading. That's just a little added nuance that you can add to your readings that will might make you more accurate or a better, you know, a better reader. Who doesn't need more information? It's always nice to have more information to embellish the information we already have. All right, let's move on to our um, combinations. Very first card is the rider. And if it lands next to Miss Snake Lady over here, um, this could represent a troubled relationship. This is news of a betrayal. Um, or this could be message from a rival. Not a rival like I'm coming to a location. It's a rival like R A space rival. R-I-V-A-L. So message from somebody opposing you. A rival. Pretty straightforward. The snake in combination with the clover, some may be jealous of your luck. Hmm, okay. So maybe you got lucky and someone's thinking, huh, how can I how can I gain from that person's luck, from the querent's luck? So you gotta be careful. You got some creepy people around you who want to benefit from your luck. If you get the snake in combination with the ship card, this is a troubled trip. This could just be traveling with a woman. And remember, when you get the ship card in combination with this, the, if, she, if you're using the snake card to represent a third woman, another woman, this might be a woman who lives overseas. She does look like she could be, maybe she might be Italian. Um, I mean, she's wearing kind of gypsy type clothing. I'm not saying Italians wear gypsy type clothing. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying she does look exotic. You know, she could be from Spain, maybe. Anyway, we don't know where. She's just a picture on a card. She's not from anywhere. She's from the card. She's not from any mysterious hidden land. She's on a card. Okay, we got distracted. Moving on. So the snake card with the house, this represents betrayal, lies, or a jealous family member. Betrayal, lies, or a jealous family member. You get the snake in combination with the tree. This represents jealousy and envy that is firmly rooted. Maybe this is like, you know, this comes up in a reading where somebody had an issue with somebody from their past and it was never resolved. So the jealousy and the anger and every envy, it's firmly rooted. It's been there for a while and it's probably not going anywhere soon. This just means be cautious and it also means danger. The snake in combination with the clouds. This is confusion. This could also be a trap. Confusion or a trap. Now the clouds mean confusion all by themselves. So the, it doesn't need the, this combination to have come up with con confusion. But it could, could be a trap. Good to know. Okay, so the snake in combination with the grave or the coffin in other cards. Um, this is the end of problems. Who would have thought that the grave was going to make this better? This is the end of problems. Or this could be an ending for a woman, which isn't so good. An ending for a woman. End of problems. I like the end of problems. That's a nice one to get in a reading. It's like, oh, thank God. 
the end of the problems is near because these two cards show up together. The snake card with the bouquet. This is a beautiful, charming, dangerous woman. This could represent two women. Okay, so maybe she's beautiful, maybe she's charming, but she might be dangerous. Two women. All right. The um, snake snake uh, combine. I think I'm pushing these cards up. I hope you're not getting a glare. I really hope you're not getting a glare. I know that was annoying in the last video. I'm not going to do it over the again though, because if I keep doing stuff over again, I'm never going to get through this. And I was doing that at the beginning. I'm just going to stop because I have to be happy with my work. I just got to go. Okay. Like we're going to go right now. The the common the snake in combination with the sickle or the scythe. This is putting an end to a murky relationship. This could be surgery for, for a woman. End to a murky relationship or surgery for a woman. The snake in combination with the whip. This is conflict, aggression, and violence. Nothing good is coming out of these two cards. Conflict, aggression, and violence. Yeah, they look like they're up to no good, these two ladies. Together, they would be horrible. Like, neither of them has good thoughts on their own mind independently. Together, they'd just be, they'd tear up the town. Might be fun. Might be fun for the night, but you know what? They're going to wake up with regrets. So these two women are trouble. Do you see them together? Querent, be warned. They are up to no good. If you get the snake in combination with the owls or the birds, this is insults, gossip. It could be discussion with a woman. Insults, gossip, or discussion with a woman. So it doesn't have to be bad, discussion with a woman. Um, but insults and gossip seems to be maybe the go-to um, definition, like the most common all right, so if you get the snake in combination with the child, this is a spoiled child. Or it could represent um, a new, brand new danger, something, something coming into the picture that's dangerous. So this is new beginnings, but it's in this case, it's not a, a good new beginning. It's a dangerous one. The snake in combination with the fox. This is trouble at work. Remember, the fox card can represent work. Trouble at work, it could be a female rival. This can also represent manipulation. Excuse me, I'm going to get a drink of water. Okay, trouble at work, female rival, or manipulation. If you get the snake in combination with the bear, this represents mother-in-law. This could be a female boss. And this could also be a toxic boss. Toxic boss. Yeah, I could see that. Trouble at work. Female boss. Snake in combination with the stars. This is many dangers. Jealous of your popularity. So there could be jealousy if you be, if you become famous in some way. This could be jealousy coming up because of that. Or it could be a famous woman. Snake in combination with the stork. This is a change that involves danger. Now in this book, this is the second time I've seen this reference. The stork can also be a woman as well. So this says this could be to represent two women. I think this particular author in this book can, uses the stork as a woman card. Um, he's the only one so far, but I've only, like I said, I've only been doing this, you know, maybe a month or so. Um, I haven't heard anybody else using the stork as a woman card, but you know, if it works, it works, right? Okay, so. The snake in combination with the dog. This is a dangerous friendship. Same thing that happened with the cloud. When you have the cloud next to you, it's a dangerous friendship. Toxic female friend. This could be jealousy between friends. If you get the snake in combination with the tower, clock tower, this is a lawsuit. It's injustice. This could also be using unconventional ways. So the clock tower kind of represents putting things in order, it represents like uh, corporations, government, 
you know, um, security can represent. So if you put the snake in front of it, it can represent um, using unconventional ways. Maybe it's different than the norm. Whatever gets the job done, right? Snake in combination with the garden. This is disappointment and sadness from the hip hypocrisy of friends. That's that's uh, that's sad. Disappointment and sadness from the hypocrisy of friends. Because the garden card represents community. If you get the snake in combination with the mountain, this is a dangerous enemy. Two bad cards side by side. Dangerous enemy. Be warned. That's what that is. The snake in combination with the crossroad. This is a difficult choice. Um, and then if this is representing a woman, this means you need to run from her. Get away from this woman. She is up to no good. Remember her with the whip? Yeah, that's who she is. Get as far away as you can. Difficult choice or run away. The snake in combination with the mice. This is a stressful woman. And this is this could be just a woman who loses something. The mice are about loss and destruction, so this could represent a woman who's lost something. Snake in combination with the locket or the uh, heart. This is a rival. Could be a dangerous feeling you're having in your heart. You know how your heart can sometimes pick up you know, intuitions, this could be your heart saying, uh, oh, something doesn't feel right. A dangerous feeling or a rival, someone who's opposing you in some way. The snake in combination with the ring, this is a false commitment. Or it could represent a compromise. So it's either a commitment's been made and someone's not going to follow through, or someone's compromising in order to reach an agreement. The snake in combination with the journal or the book. This is a secret enemy. The book can represent secrets. In other decks, the book is closed. For me, that's a better reminder that the book can be secrets. This is also information, though, in learning. Um, this is a secret woman, or this could be a dangerous secret. Maybe it could be learning of a it could be learning of a sneaky person in your life. You know. That information coming to light. The snake in combination with the letter. This is bad news, more lies, or this could represent a threat letter. Lies, threats, bad news. The snake in combination with, let's put all of, all of our people out. The snake in combination with any person card. This could be, well, and my men and women, they were out of order. Um, if, if it's the man, if it's the man card, it could be another woman in his life. Um, it could be a rival. <laughs> a false man, it says. So maybe this is a trans transsexual. Um, the woman card, this could be a woman with a girlfriend. Maybe this is a lesbian affair, lesbian relationship. Um, this could also be, represent the other woman, like this is the cheater lady. Alright, the snake in combination with the lilies. This is a lack of confidence, or this is a disloyal person. Lack of confidence or a disloyal person. The snake in combination with the sun. This is a successful woman. This could mean the enemy's been defeated. Arr, the sun is defeating the enemy. Enemy's defeated or this is a successful woman. If it's just representing a woman and you're not, you know, you're not attaching an emotion to it. Just a woman. Successful woman. Alright, so then we got the snake with the moon. And this is a bad reputation. This is a popular woman. Um, it could be disillusion. Disillusion. The snake with the key card. This is a. This is um. 
This is a manipulative woman succeeding in her plan. It's man manipulating and key represents success. So she, she found a way. She found a way to make it happen. Hopefully there's advice in this reading of how to get back at her or how to stop her. All right. And the snake in combination with the fish. This is receiving money through unconventional ways. The snake in combination with the anchor, this is insecurity. The anchor all by itself is very secure, it's got longevity, security. Um, but with the snake next to it, now it's insecurity. Um, or going the other way, this could be a stable woman. If you're just using this as a woman card, now she's stable. So depending on the flavor of the reading, it's either insecurity or a stable woman or whatever else, whatever else intuitively comes to you. Because maybe those, maybe those uh, suggestions don't work for you in particular reading. Okay, so if you got the snake in combination with the cross, this is an abuse or a, har a harmful situation. An abuse or harmful situation. And that's that. That's the snake card and all the combinations of the standard 36 cards card deck for the Lenormand. Um, thank you very much for watching. I'll get another video out soon. We're on to the coffin next time. That should be a fun card to, to read combinations for. Uh, okay, so I'm going to end this video. We'll do a little, don't want to do too much blabbing. Try to keep them to the point and short because I know I get irritated when I watch videos and they start just talking. Sometimes they're really, if they're interesting or funny or if they're or if they have something important or valid to say, I'm like, yeah, keep going. But most of the time I just get irritated. So I don't want that to happen from, with my videos. I don't want you to get irritated with me because I start talking about And I can do that sometimes. I can just start talking and then I lose track of time. And, and then I realize that I've been talking way too much. And then I get cut off by my camera, which is probably going to happen here. So we're going to end this. Thank you so much for watching. Come back for another one next time. We're going to be going on to the coffin. I really appreciate you watching. See you later.